Hello and welcome to the Attractive Directory on Try Hacking. It's a Windows based medium difficulty room. Task 1 is just simply deploying the machine with your VPN on. The second task is installing the, the tools that you're going to use later. Just git clone the link, install it. Task 3 is in the enumeration part. So now you can access the, this, this machine with your with the IP address or with the name from here as you can see spooksec.local but the next tool that we're going to use you will need to add to use the IP address instead of the name so to make that easier for us I'm gonna just do this I'm gonna add the, uh, the name to our host like this nano etc host just adding the IP address then then and pasting in the spooky sec dot local name save it okay now let's do the first scan that we need to get the answers it's also like Okay, the first answer is easy, but I I got a little uh, a few more ports open than than here, so you have the answer already in the hints. The answer to question number two is enum for Linux. We're gonna do that like this: enum for Linux, a, and we're gonna paste in this cookie sec dot local if you added it to your host. If not, you, you need to use the IP address. So enter. It's gonna take a few seconds. The next part, uh, you're gonna see the answer to the question number four, for, uh, question number three. As you can see, we can stop the process so we, we don't waste time. Domain name is this one here. Copy paste it in. And answer to question number four. We have it dot local dot local. For the next part you need to install Carebrood. I have Carebrood already downloaded in this folder for, for this tutorial. And let's i'm gonna show you how to use it to get the, the answers you should do it yourself to learn it faster and don't just type in the answers to make it easier copy this paste it in and add user enum then you add d spooky sec look local and again DC like this and forget the letter and at the end you need to add the password list that you're gonna try the user list I'm sorry that you download from here so add user dot and the 100 this will be fast and mm, few seconds we're gonna get both answers to question number two and question number three we already got the answer to question number two and to question number three so it was really fast really easy next step is exploiting this we will do it with a tool that we downloaded from before Let's go to the folder where that is. One back. Sorry. We have here uh, the tools that we installed before, and we're gonna use a few of them. So now we need to use uh, the get np users .py. This is how we're gonna do that. Get np
you add spooky sec dot local and the SVC admin SVC admin and we don't need a password no pass and we got the hash <coughs> they want you to find out what type of hash this is and you can do that by going to this website after doing that you need to search for that type of hash it's a uh, specific I think because of the beginning so as you can see how it starts it will probably take a little bit time to find it but it's down here it's as you can see the same beginning and you copy this name and paste it in that's the answer to question number two and also you get the answer to question number three here it's the 18,200 it's the mode that we're gonna use in, use in Hashcat let's copy this in our folder let's go back to desktop and make a nano pass hash paste it in paste in save it save the name exit and now let's run hash kit you do that with hash cat mode 18 and then you add the, the ha pass hash the name of the file we put the hash in and then you add the pa password list that we got before uh, earlier up here we got the password list that we're going to use to crack it so uh, pass txt I'm going to paste it to, to, to another file doesn't matter how you how we call it wait I need to add force because I'm on a virtual machine forgot yes I think it's done let's see it we got the hash the password it's up here that's also the answer to question number four next part is we need to use SMB client and this is how we're going to use it for this machine just SMB client user not the user sorry you can spooky sec dot local and then you add the user it's the admin and they're gonna ask you for a, a for a password so the, the password that we've got before this the management 2005 we paste it in sorry I copied something else yeah I'm gonna type it by hand Oh, sorry. Cat pass and and copy it. Okay. Paste it in. Yes, we're in. And the answer to question number two is the L. And question number three is six because one, two, three, four, five, six. Now they want us to access the backup file. That is the, the answer to question number four. And you're gonna do that do that like this. So SMB client again. And you're gonna use four of this and the IP address. I think I can use spooky sec also. I'm not sure. Yes, and pass up, backup user again the same and 
enter they're gonna ask again for password paste it in and as you can see we're in now ls you're gonna see a file where the hash is that's the backup credentials but the, the part is you can't use uh, cat you need to use more and you're gonna do that like more This is the hash that we got. It's base 64 encoded. Let's go back. Uh, let's open one more folder. Terminal, sorry, and nano. Or can I do it? Base. And to, let's call it like this. Yeah, as you can see, we got the password and the username. It's backup at uh, sp spooky sec local. The password is backup 24178860. So we got that. The next part, we need to use a secret stump. It's also a tool that we installed uh, before uh, earlier from test two, and it's in the same folder. We go back. Let's clear this up once more. and the tool is secret stump it's up here so you use that like this yeah and the flags you need is DC IP and the IP address spooky sec that local and backup at spooky sec no the IP address I'm sorry And enter it will ask for a password and the password is the the one that you got earlier it's the backup 25 17 860 enter yes it's starting then the answer we can stop this I think already so we don't waste too much time yeah it stopped by itself the answer to the first question is here wait yeah using the DRS U API method that's the answer to question number one the answer to question number two is this hash from administrator but only the second half half and the method that we're gonna use to get in is uh, called pass the hash. You will see how, and we're gonna use the e evil win rm. So this is how we're gonna do that. You have to install it, of course. Let's create this up. No, no, wait, we need the hash. Just type in if you have installed it installed it i'm going to put some links down for installation of this tools that we're going to need uh -oh. i'll type this And you administrator straighter 
h the hash but not the full hash only the second part from up here i think i have it yeah no 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 this is the wrong one this is the base 64 one i'm gonna copy it again administrator up here and let's get the hash paste it in and next part is i and the ip address 10 and enter it's starting and we are in after this it's really easy you can see what's in here you go once back the flags are always in desktop so you go i'm an administrator and cd desktop as you can see we're here this is the root.txt cat root.txt you see now we go back ls we can go we need one more back ls we go to the SVC admin again desktop so we don't waste time you have the user.txt second flag and the third one is in backup user third flag and that's it